Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Sonic Adventure. We have now 100% cleared Knuckles' story. We have completed half the characters, though I'm pretty sure we are more than halfway through the game, because I think Sonic, as the main character, his story is more than twice as long as any other character. Next up is Amy. I'm looking forward to this one, because I seem to remember that I get to whack things with a giant hammer, and whacking things with a giant hammer is good fun. And Amy's just kind of a fun character. Did I miss see that? Did we just get a panties shot of Amy? Amy? I I don't know what to say to that. She's a hedgehog. Okay, so B is hammer attack, or X, A is jump. Hammer jump, run plus X button. Okay, good to know. And if we press the X button while airborne, we do a hammer attack... Okay. And then as usual, pick up, put down, throw, shake. The rules for the action stages. Stage is cleared when Amy grabs the balloon. She cannot destroy Zero, which I suppose is the robot chasing her with her hammer. She can only knock him over. And she can evade him by hiding behind objects. Understood, I think. Amy, you need to get hey, your old wife. What's going on here? Is there an eclipse today or what? Nobody forecast a storm or anything. <laughs> it's a pretty funny expression. Oh, this scene is from the opening. It must be admitted that Amy's psychotic crush on Sonic is a little over the top. Eggman, can it be? What's that? Ah! Watch it! Watch it! Ow! You should watch where you're going, buddy! Hey, are you alright? You look kind of hurt. Deppard's eyes. Yikes! You almost ran me over, creep! Oh no! Let's get out of here! That was one of Eggman's robots, huh? He must have captured you, and somehow you got away, right? Don't worry, I'll protect you. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way. Amy does not exactly come across as a towering intellect, shall we say. <laughs> Why am I blanking out on what these little birds are called? I... I'm thinking of the Zelda name, Cuckoos, but that's obviously wrong. The police are probably just being incompetent. Let's pretend we didn't see a healthy reaction. I'm sure that'll be very helpful. Flickies! Oh, that's what they're called. Flickies! Flickies are mysterious creatures. 
They can travel through dimensions by flying through rings or something. Isn't that from Sonic 3D Blast? Alright, so where do we go as Amy? To scare the stuffing out of me at night. Alright, there's our, uh, wow, that's really acrobatic. You ought to be a gymnast, Amy. pretty fun doing the hammer jump though. Oh, gotta get up some speed, then do the hammer. Nope, not like that. Get up some real speed. God dang it, I can't get up speed with all these cars in the road. Get out of the road, stupid cars. One more try. There we go. The, the hearts. It emits hearts. That makes it more humiliating when she kills you with it. Well, they're on strike. Ah, okay. Thanks for letting me know, sad little girl with the neglectful father. Something good may happen, you say. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm trying to enter through the window. In my defense, the windows and doors look kind of alike. Also, apparently Amy is something of celebrity as well, since random people know her name. Anything going on out at the pool? Looks like the answer is no, a whole lot of nothing. Oh, here's this guy and his latest date. You're really happy now about that. <laughs> Are you, what? Just how wide is your strike zone, dude? Wow. Furry identified. He'll just date anything with a skirt, apparently. Uh-oh. Oh, Sonic! <sighs> My hero! Sonic! <laughs> That's some pretty good voice acting. That that is some good swooning, not gonna lie. Long time no see! Uh, uh, Amy! <laughs> What's your problem? See, this little birdie's got in trouble! I think you should be his bodyguard a little while. What? Doesn't matter. We'll just tag along. No way. Uh -uh. Come on, don't run away. Oh! You know, it's probably actually a reasonable reaction to a psychotic fangirl is to run away as fast as you can. Alright, well, we have to try to chase down Sonic, I guess. Given where we are in the story, we're probably heading to Twinkle Park, I imagine. Of course she did. Lady, you really have a problem. <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my job over going on strike. Maybe you should think these things through, dude. Alright, that's the pool. That That's stairs. That's an elevator. Where's the freaking... There we go. Alright, so Twinkle Park, yes, is right over here. This isn't a real safe place to stand, little boy. Oh, it's Mr. Know-It-All. What are you talking about? Look at the size of- Shut up, kid! I wasn't trying to talk to you, I was trying to demonstrate my hammer. Look at the size of this hammer. And it emits hearts! How can you say it's not a powerful weapon? You know nothing, kid. 
It's not Mr. Know-It-All, it's Mr. Know-Nothing. Hey, Sonic. Amy's expressions. I'll handle that bag of bolts. Ah! Now what's wrong? Huh? Look, it says you couples can get in free. Like I said, Iron Tower of Intellect. You know, I could make fun of all the Amy upskirts, but Sonic just runs around buck naked, so... Alright, this is another action stage where I'm doing a second take and not keeping my first one. Mostly because there were some game mechanics I just didn't understand well the first time, so I had a lot of fumbling around. Like here... You have to run around and step on these three buttons in order to open the door. And I did not understand that, so I spent a lot of time running around being confused until Tikal just straight up told me that I have to step on those three buttons to open the door. Also, you can whack the robot to temporarily stun it, but it seems to become immune after enough hammer blows, so that doesn't work forever. All right, so buttons pressed, let's go in the door. Now this next part also had a mechanic I didn't understand, which is that there's pits that you can see in the mirror, because we're going into like a funhouse mirror area. And so you, you can see the pits in the mirrors, but not in the, I don't know, real world or non-mirror world. And so you need to watch out for those pits in the mirrors and jump over them, because if they start to drop out from underneath you, then you're pretty much dead. Even if you hit jump really fast, it generally doesn't work. So that was another thing I didn't realize. I lost a few lives uh, until I figured that out. So for the sake of a cleaner take, get away from me, you freak. That works a few times, but it's not going to work forever. So we want to be judicious with those stun attacks with the hammer. Okay, so this is where... See the pit in the mirror? So we're going to want to jump over that. Because again, if we step on it, we're pretty much screwed. This is a really different version of Twinkle Park from the one that we did as Sonic. So I really like how it's basically an entirely different stage. That's really cool. And Amy, like Tails and Knuckles, has pretty somewhat different mechanics from Sonic. I mean, it's still the case that we're basically running through a fairly linear stage, but we have a Robotnik hunter bot chasing us, and we can't kill it, so we have to just evade it. Which is kind of a cool idea. The robot won't see you if you hide in a barrel. So she says, but in my first take I didn't really need to do that at all. From here, it should be pretty clean and easy, although now that I've said that, I've probably cursed myself. Alright, we can just go between those. Ugh! Amy's so slow going uphill. Alright, now we grab the balloon and escape. So, it's actually a really quick and easy stage once you understand the mechanics. So that was a much cleaner take than the one that you'll never see. I'm free. Well, for now you are. Welcome to Twinkle Park. All right, first action stage complete. Uh, looks like we probably exit this way. Oh, there's a sub game. Sure, why not? Let's do the sub game. All right, so it's sort of the bumper car thing. I seem to be pretty bad at these racing sub-games, like the snowboarding, the sandboarding, and the, the bumper car. 
Basildas is pretty cool. We are in outer space, it appears. Cruising through the galaxy with a bunch of gas giants. Like Jupiter and Neptune. I mean, it's not quite Mario Kart, but it's pretty fun. I don't know if there's a way for me to jump. Two laps to go. Oh, okay, so we have to go through three laps. Fair enough. Not a whole lot to say, really. It's a very basic little racing minigame. Yeah, I'm hitting some other buttons, but none of them seems to do anything besides accelerate. So if there's a way to jump, I don't know what it is. Which means I don't know how to get those rings floating up there above the track. One lap to go. But with attractions like this, though, Twinkle Park really would be a really fun place to go on a date. Right. Well, we beat the best time. Look at us go. Huzzah. That's a neat little minigame. Not much to it, but... Welcome to Twinkle Park. Okay, so that was not the way to get out. Ah, this is the way to get out. Oh, bad news, Amy. All that work for nothing. Hey, watch it, bolt brain! Let us down! Let us go! Why is it a game over when that catches you if we just get caught anyway? I know I already did that joke, but I just can't resist. Oh, we got captured. We are now a damsel in distress. Now, now, calm down. What do you 
I've made the bird. Nope. Quietly hand over the bird. No, never. Why not? I don't need to tell you anything. You tell me why you want it now. Here's my name, rank, and ID number. You don't even know? I know you might hurt us both. Please, Mr. Robot. Won't you help us, please? Insufficient data. You have feelings for something you know nothing about. We've got two mental giants arguing here. I pity you. Love is not part of your programming. You are missing something good. Hey, Birdie, come back here. Look into my eyes. Gamma can't handle it. He's convulsing. He's out of here. Go, escape. <laughs> wow, persuasion check successful. The Game Master was like, oh, you rolled a natural 20 on your persuasion check? Okay, screw it. The robot lets you go. <laughs> it is dangerous here. Yup. Alright. Later, Gamma. You're pretty cool for an evil robot. Robotnik, what kind of evil plan is this? In order to escape, you must play this fun game I created. You shall never succeed. Oh wow, that's fast. Okay, don't hit the Robotniks, try to hit the Sonics. Especially the Supersonics. Alright, we got two of them. Oh no, I got a Robotnik. Wow, these pop up fast. Uh, th this is way too fast for me, man. Especially because she does not respond the instant I hit the button. In no way does she do that. Okay, we did not beat Robotnik's high score. Keep trying until you get the high score. Good luck. Do they always pop up in the same place, or is it random? Damn it. Maybe I should just face one direction and just hit anything that comes out of that direction. Maybe that'll work better. Man, they're so fast. How are you supposed to react to that? There we go. This is really hard, actually. I'm not kidding when I say Amy does not react as fast as I hit the button, either. There is a pretty significant delay. It is definitely measurable. Damn it. 
This is surprisingly really difficult. Five hundred? Maybe I should just hit at random. Dang, I was gonna mock your score of two thousand, Robotnik, but that's actually a pretty good score. I'm, I'm just gonna wildly hammer in every direction. Crap, why is this so hard? This is promising. We did it. I'm not going to hit anything else. We beat the high score. What? I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Robotnik, you're ridiculous. <laughs> what? Oh, yay! I get the warrior feather. Oh, it's a cute accessory. Warrior feather. Now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. And we just emit hearts in every possible direction. Was that optional? Did I actually only need to do that to get the warrior feather? Or just throw something heavy on it. Donk. Okay, I remember that we weren't able to gain access to this as Sonic, so I guess maybe this is a unique stage for Amy. Let's we'll see if it has more crazy mechanics like, uh, um, like Twinkle Park did. Hold on to the handle and turn the key to the left to open the door. Uh, what handle? What handle? I honestly don't know what handle to call is talking about. We saved a penguin. Wait. This is a really disturbing statue. It's like a female torso thrusting itself. What the hell? Robotnik, you are one creepy dude. Okay. Oh, this handle. Hold on to the handle and turn the key to the left to open the door. Okay. There we go. And now we have a shield. All right, let's rescue the animals. Keep your balance or else you'll fall off. Uh oh, what are you even talking about? Wow, there he is! I smacked him as soon as he came out. That was awesome. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Okay. Well, at least we got to be tutorialized on this hammer mechanic when there were no stakes, really. And we rescued a tiny deer creature. How adorable. This must be the emergency drainage switch. Oh, is that why the 
water had all been drained out of the pool when I was doing Knuckles' story. If so, that's some impressive continuity. Left one, right three. Oh, jeez. Now we have to do, like, a combination lock. One. We did it. We haven't had to evade zero all that much in this level so far. A moving ladder. Please return to its original position after using it. Okay. So do we have to push this? Yep. Puzzle solving! That was pretty tough. Can you believe I figured it out on my own? Is this showers? Oh, get wrecked. Run. Oh man, I have to turn this crank. Go, go, go. I knew that was going to be a thing eventually that I have to turn the crank while this guy's following me. Uh oh. Camera, 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 camera. This is not helpful, camera. This is not helpful. Where am I? Okay. Alright, looks like he lost us, or we lost him, or whatever, so. Amy is so slow. Okay. Wow, camera. That that's not Okay. All right, so jump around on these pistons. Gears? No, they're not pistons, idiot. Gears. Jump around on the gears. Good lord. I may not be a mechanical engineer, but I'm not that ignorant. Let's get these rings while we're at it. The switch for the gear control is around here somewhere. Yeah, didn't I already hit it? I guess there's another one. All right, then we get the gears rotating in this direction. We can ride up to here. This barely counts as puzzle solving. What the heck is that? I, I have no idea what that power-up is. Die, you monkey scum. Maybe it's invulnerability? I seem pretty invulnerable. All right, how do we open this door? I assume we have to open this door. Oh, we just approach it. The most difficult of all puzzles. Be careful not to fall off. Oh joy, my favorite. This, this surely violates safety regulations. I suppose Robotnik doesn't care about those. Uh, I'm kind of bugging out and getting caught on the side of the platform in a way that seems like I shouldn't be able to. And the camera's not being cooperative again. Okay, so I put it back to its original position. So let's reset it. Jump onto this! Okay. And now this should take us somewhere new. I think this is new. Oh, there's zero, so it's new. Oh man, am I gonna have to push the ladder while zero's chasing me? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, which way? Hmm. 
If I have to get across the way there... Move the handle and the lift should move. Okay. Hmm. I see a spring. This is a fairly long level. What the heck? Stupid chameleon, get wrecked. Four blocks must be in place to use to monitor. Oh, okay. Puzzle solving! The most difficult thing about this room is fighting with the camera. Zero. Ah! He's coming after us. Run away. Run away. Amy's top speed isn't bad. She just takes a while to accelerate. Yeah, she definitely takes a while to get up to speed. It doesn't seem to get up to speed at all when running uphill. Oh boy, do we have to do this while Zero is trying to capture us? That would make it a little more challenging. Yup, there he is. Okay, he's still vulnerable to the stunning hammer for the moment. Oh. Okay, we won't be able to do that too many more times, I don't think. Also, he sure isn't stunned for long. Ooh, that was close. Looks like I didn't quite get it on the... Oh man, it basically doesn't stun him at all now. Ugh, run. Drop it. Dang it. Missed. This definitely makes it more challenging, so the earlier one was just tutorializing us on what we need to do in a low-stakes situation again. Where's the last block? Where's the last block? There it is. Nope, nope. Oh, I just failed to put that one on. Okay. Yeah, run, Amy, run! Is that the last one? Apparently not. Let's hit the spring. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. We seem to have left zero behind. Oh, there's the last block. Wow, that's tricky. Dang it, I... Arr. Perspective made it kind of hard to s see how far I had to jump. Let's try again. Mm. Oh, great. Where am I now? Did I lose progress by doing that? Not much, I don't think. Okay, here we go again. This is a very awkward jump. Ah, uh, okay, that, that was on me. Um, I started jumping and then in mid-jump I realized I should make the jump over the platform so I wouldn't have to backtrack as much if I missed again. And then I kind of tried to abort mission in mid-jump and it just didn't work out so well. Okay, that I made that out to be a lot harder than it was. Made too much of a meal out of that. I think we're good now? We are good now. Get away from me, you creep!
Go, Amy, go. Oh, there's the balloon! The balloon of freedom! Can't stop me, monkeys! Okay, that was a fun level. A little buggy in spots, but not anywhere near as bad as Skydeck. Free!